todos, pero... Um, Holy shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Si hay cámara. 45 minutos de tiempo. I don't even know how to react to it. I don't know if I'm going to cry or if I'm going to be happy or if I'm going to be excited. But. A few months back, I decided to take a trip to Guatemala to visit my dad, who I hadn't seen in three years. We journeyed to Tactic Alta Verapaz, where we would be staying for the majority of our trip. As you guys saw in my first Guatemala video, the journey to meeting up with him would take a lot of driving. 10 hours later, with tons of traffic, bumpy roads, and a car filled with family, it was finally time to reunite with my father. Well, we're here with my dad. No! A firefly! Oh my god! Did my better puppy? Wow. Yes, Stephanie. We spent the first day catching up and soaking everything in. After much needed catch up time and moments of crying, laughing, and eating together, it was time to part ways for my mom, Jaden, my uncle, and a few other relatives. Bye, everyone. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it was now time for my sister and I to have some major bonding time with our pops. Ahorita andamos por Tactic, Guatemala. Um, vamos en rumbo a Cobán, de, es donde mi papá creció. Y acá andamos con mi papá. <laughs> He estado a punto de matar. <laughs> es... <laughs> So as you guys can see over there, he is doing a Mayan ritual. Um, let's zoom into the crosses. Our first stop to our dad's side of the family was my Theo Juan's house. Amelia Cinesis, la puedes buscar ahí en el internet. Es el el té negro. ¿Qué clase de árbol? Camelia Cinesis. Oh, okay. Te voy a buscar más. Se usa solo la hoja tierna. ¡A la jaula! Ahí a la jaula. Ay, es la belleza de perro. Ay, Educadísimo, Ay, noble, increíble. Es bello el perro. Tío, ¿y los deja correr aquí sí, o no? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Qué pasó? Oh. Tranquilo. ¿Qué es? Tranquilo. Ay, Blacky, se ve como la candy. Está ladrando. Pues que está ladrando, Blacky. Blacky siempre. Es el oso por los chuchitos. Ah. Oh. Oh. <risa> Mira. Qué chiquito. Ay, qué pita. Ay, qué pita. Ay, qué pita. Tío, entonces, esta fue la última vez que nos vio hace 20 años. Ahí está. Yeah. Esa es la que andaba buscando. Ese que tomarle foto, hombre. Hay que tomarle foto. Esa es la que andaba buscando. Currently at my dad's side of the family and I'm trying not to get emotional. Y yo con cada uno de ustedes tengo memoria con mi tía Carla y me da un poco de tristeza que, you know, um, no los he podido ver crecer a todos, pero... Um, Holy shit. I know. Sí. Pero me da alegría. Sí hay cámara. Sí hay cámara. Uh, una. Me da alegría de poder estar acá y al menos hacer memoria en este momento. Veo que el tiempo pasó y así como que digo, Dios, qué vieja estoy porque qué lindas están. Tío, se no ha cambiado. 
Growing up, I rarely saw my dad's side of the family, but the few short-lived moments my sister and I spent together with our cousins were all we needed to create an everlasting bond. For some reason, it felt like we had just seen them yesterday. And check this out. I met Minnie Carla, my youngest cousin on my dad's side for the first time. She's the cutest. So right now we are in Low Ranch, which is a restaurant located in Alta Verapaz. Very Americanized food because it has that Western appeal to it, but they also have some Guatemalan dishes like platanos rellenos and caldo de pollo and so many other amazing foods, but I'm gonna go eat. The thing that I wanted to taste and I was craving coming to Guatemala are these things called platanos rellenitos, rellenitos de platanos. Mash and plantain banana, cook it. Mm. Mash it and then make the empanada, put in the, the, the beans with cinnamon inside and fry mm. and enjoy. This is uh, really good. One of the most special moments we had with my dad was giving tribute to his mom, dad and brother who passed. My grandpa passed before I was born, but we had the honor of spending a couple of weeks with my grandma during our summers as kids. Sadly, we never got the chance to visit her with my dad in Guatemala. After a heartfelt moment with my dad and my cousin who joined, we visited my grandma's house and relived old memories. Right now we are on my way to my grandma's house. I'm here with my cousins over there. My dad. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Gracias. Hola. This house right over here, this yellow one, um, is where my sister and I lived with my mom and dad for maybe like a year, um, so it was in Kovan. My parents met in the United States, my sister and I were born in LA, then they moved to Kovan. My mom didn't like it here, and the rest is history. They were married for 25 years. You see, my dad raised us, but then my parents divorced three years ago, and planning time to go visit him was definitely not a weekend getaway like our hometown in California where my mom lives. But I am so glad I took the time to make this trip happen. The thought of waiting another year to see my dad just didn't feel right. This trip to visit my dad and other family in Guatemala really got me thinking about how important family is. Value that time with those you love. All right guys, so today was an incredible day. It's been great hanging out here with my family. I can't wait to come back to Guatemala because it's really been just an incredible journey of reuniting with family and with my dad and and remembering, you know, going to my grandma's house from both sides. And yeah, it's been an incredible journey and I'm glad that I've been able to share that with you guys. But it's been awesome. But I will talk to you guys later. And by the way, if you guys have not checked out one of my videos where we go to Lake Atitlan, which is one of the most popular places here in Guatemala, um, check those videos out. I'll leave them down in the description. All right, bye.